Okay, so let's move on to question number three. Which of these structures has the most angle strain, which has the most steric strain, and which of these structures has the most torsional eclipsing strain? So let's draw out all these different molecules. I was never good at drawing these uh, chair configurations. And it looks like each of these just has like a methyl group coming out of it. Then this is a staggered butane. Okay, so this is one one dimethyl cyclobutane. I'll denote it as A. B is one one three three five five hexamethyl cyclohexane and then this one is just staggered butane let me just move this over a bit so that you can see it There's a hydrogen there, and then just another methyl group there. So the first question asks, uh, which of these structures has the most angle strain? So the structure that will have the most angle strain is the one that has the most deviation from an actual tetrahedral bond angle. So this angle is 109.5 degrees. So let's look at all of the structures. So A has a 90 degree angle in there. B, this is 120. And then if we look at the angle of the staggered butane, it's the 109.5 degrees. So therefore, the one with the most angle strain is structure A. Okay, so part B. Which of these structures has the most steric strain? Okay, so here is when the interactions between substituents uh, so basically when you have bulky groups all close together Okay, so if you look at all of our structures, there's some 
uh, steric endurance here. But if you look at B, it has all these methyl groups like kind of pointing out. So therefore, structure B has the most steric strain. And you can already see with the staggered butane that there's not much strain on it. So the answer for B is structure B. And then which of these structures has the most torsional strain? So this is determined by the repulsion. between bonding pair of electrons. And it's present in the molecule with eclipsing conformation. Okay, so if I'm going to draw out structure A, just kind of with all the hydrogen, hydrogen groups put in. And you can see it has this kind of like puckered ring structure, which causes eclipsing interactions. So the answer for this one is also structure A. Let's look at the answer from our junior tutor. 1,1-dimethylcyclobutane has the most angle strain. Yep. Since its bond angle is 90 degrees, the most steric strain is compound B due to the 1,3-diaxial interactions of methyl groups. And then C, torsional strain is caused due to the repulsion of electrons uh, present in eclipse, eclipsed conformations. Then this is due to the puckered structure of the cyclobutane. So this solution is correct. Okay, so let's move on.